Hi, Tom. Thank you very much for allowing us to uh, to do this little segment for the, the the bonus segment of your show, the Big Words Bonus. And with me today is Mr. Bill Kennedy, who is uh, my lead actor in the most current production I'm working on. Dr. Frankenstein is Bill. He's Dr. Victor von Frankenstein in uh, Frankenstein's Patchwork Monster. And uh, Bill, let me shake your hand again because every time we're together, it's always a lot of fun. And um, Bill came to the audition a few months back uh, in 2014, mid-year. And um, ne we never met the gentleman before, and he did, a, he did a cold read for us, and he just totally nailed the performance. And the Herman actor was good, and we had our Dr. Frankenstein and assistant at the, on the spot, and we were really excited about it. And within time, we within a month or so, we just we rocked it out. We built the set. We put it all together. And uh, our host has graciously allowed us uh, an opportunity to read a short excerpt from a sequence in the film, which uh, is um, uh, with the Patrick Monster. I'll be actually reading for the Patrick Monster himself. And uh, Bill, obviously, is the doctor. So uh, it's not a full scene, but just to give you a little idea of um, Bill's performance, his sound, his voice, the way it resonates, and uh, we'd like to start with that. So please bear with me. My voice is not an acting voice. Bill, I have an acting face, though. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever you're ready, Bill. Yeah, just, uh, I just want to say, you know, thank you for uh, allowing me to be part of your vision and your uh, creativity. Thank um, you. It, it, was, it was definitely a joy to, to, to see your vision but allow us to be creative and take suggestions to where we felt comfortable or, hey, what about this? And you were very receptive to that. Well, it's definitely a team effort. Well, it just it, it made it very comfortable for me to know that I had you I had you at my back. You know, like you 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 would you you support my I was my wide ideas. open to suggestions yeah. all the time because it's a, it's not a one man show, it's it's team effort. And a film of all medium art mediums is definitely a team effort. There's no denying the fact. You can't do it all, you'll just you'll collapse, you know. Yeah. I mean we, we, good we, team. we 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 really became a family. Everybody, the crew, the the cast, the, you know, It does happen on productions. There was, is that family thing that comes together for great. the three or four months eating together, laughing, cracking jokes. Um, you know, it was a lot of fun. Still still just rehashing things that we said and jokes and puns and things like that. So well, as I had it, I run across tons of little things. When the camera would be called cut, I've always was was told to, uh, not told, I learned this by mistake, to let it run for about an extra minute. Everybody else is on cut. Mind-boggling what you get. Totally hilarious. Stuff you can't even put on film. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff that Tom would love. <laughs> well, anyway, we're going to read this little sequence here. And it begins with Bill uh, talking to why... He told the monster what he had to do. Whenever you're ready. I was only searching for immortality. Only immortality? How? When you champion me as perfection. But you are. I am a solitary, ungodly creature. I will be detested. Look at me. They will understand. They just have to. My doctors, my teachers, they did not believe in my theories. With you, my grand achievement, they will finally see I was right. Bah! Your achievement has cost many lives and much more untold sorrow. If so, then tell how. I found your notes, good doctor, Victor von Frankenstein. Of course you have. I keep them at my side always. Your notes reveal many more deeds you have done. Your science is flawed. Arcane. Flawed. You take life to make life. You lost many a good friend along the way. Seriously, my good man, you can't mean the cadavers I got from the two urchins I've had to deal with. Those two will be served their justice. More than can be said for you, Victor. Stop acting so pious. You three had a commonality in tastes. Did you not, good doctor? Do you sorrow over Herman? I say stop this nonsensical talk. No, you do the devil's work, sir. Ah, yes. But I do it brilliantly. Ta-da! Ta -da. See, on the second take, I was able to add a little bit. 